Hey everyone, I'm Miles G170, and this is the Mario Maker Top 50. Alright, let's check out another Bufflin level. The Torturous Thwomp Temple. Now, I believe I played this one not too long ago, in fact. I think I liked it. Man. Is he supposed to still be there? I don't know if he's still supposed to be there or not. It'd be great if I could beat the beginning part of this, right? I'm jumping way too early trying to hit him. I'm trying to make sure he's on screen. I think I just gotta give it up on him. Well, that's how I got him. No, we're good. I was gonna say, now we're gonna jump over him so he hits the on off switch. And I forgot to, you know, get off the on off switch. Now, sometimes you'll make a level and what happened at the beginning will happen. It's just part of making Mario Maker levels and most players just know to accept if it messes up. Don't stress about that, just do your best. Oh, the clouds are gonna be gone. Now we jump off the moles, yep. Moles are a great resource in these type levels. They're easy to place, they're easy to get rid of if you need to. Okay, that was all really good. Um, that was all really good. It's just one of those that you got to know what you're doing when you get there. So, no problems there. Great use of a Kaizo block. What are we calling them? Um, those are a Carl box. That's right. Now we want him to drop. Now we're out. We're out of that section. Everything that they want you to do is very clear. Ooh! Just another one of those circumstances of you have to do it. But it's very clear what's wanted throughout this whole level. Um, Bufflin's an awesome creator. I've been playing quite a bit of his levels lately. Now let him go up. And boom! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! What do I want to do there? I think that one's just, you have to be going fast to get that higher jump. I think that's what that was. And then they'll come and then boom, we're out. We're out. Speaking of that, I'm out of sweet tea. Another awesome level down. Next up, Relaxing Red Coins 4. Okay, so this is where things are gonna get really interesting. This is gonna teach you guys the concept of infinite checkpoints. So, I'll explain what I mean when I get to that section. Right now, let's just get through this intro. And it's just a very easy intro, quick platforming. So right here, we hit our first checkpoint. That, this right here is in a box, so you don't get it. If you get it, that's what's called a safety coin. That's the last coin you want to get. That's how you signify it. So we've hit our first checkpoint. You go down the pipe, and we hit another checkpoint immediately. Now the way this is set up to be an infinite checkpoint is once we clear one of these rooms, one of these six rooms here, two pipes and four doors, we will clear a room and we'll hit that first checkpoint again and it will save our progress of getting a red coin. So it's infinite. You can use it as many times as you need. So this is how you can make it to where you don't have to beat six rooms in one attempt. Now, it's a flex if you can, but right there, we got our first coin. So now I'll hit this checkpoint. If I lose, 
I start right back here now. So I don't have to do that room again. Not that I dislike that room at all, but... But now we don't have to do it again. So now we can just focus on beating the other six. Which... The fact that we got the checkpoint helps me not have to do this room down here again. I can go back to this room that I should have beaten on my first attempt, but I didn't. And... Not super clean, but you need that to get across. Because you have to be able to hit far enough to get across the gap. There was a chance for me to have still beaten it originally, but I messed up. So here, you gotta have quick reactions or you have to trial and error on that one. All right, so let's finish up the left side. We'll do the pipe next. And look, another checkpoint. So it keeps resetting the checkpoint for you. It's great. That little one-way barrier is great right there because it lets you jump without having to worry about controlling and doing super precise jumps. Whoo, that was lucky speaking of precise jumps. Whoo boy. Okay, there we go. Another checkpoint. So now we can start over here on the right side. I mean, this is amazing. This creator essentially made rooms, six puzzle rooms, in addition to everything else. So if you saw this level on a big screen, you would see all these rooms are just separated by these hard blocks over here. The hard blocks are what keeps the screen from scrolling. Oh, I did a different level that, oh no. Oh, I got lucky and saved it. I got real lucky there. Another one of these and out, perfect. So that was the pipe. So we'll do the top door next, cause I got out of order. I think I originally did the bottom right door, but it's all good. We know what to expect in that room, so we can come back to it. Now this one has slightly tighter jumps than the other ones. So if you want to practice precise jumping, this is a good section to practice. They're not the tightest jumps I've ever seen, but this is a, this right here is a trickier jump than people would expect it to be. That is a way trickier jump. So you see you need seven coins and there's only six rooms. That's where that safety cord I mentioned came in. That's so we don't get a, um, it, it's there, it's there to be the last coin for a reason. So to me, this probably is the hardest room. This right here, I would say is the hardest room of all. Um, something that's underrated during this is if you notice that room with, where you select your room, there were window decorations. He used the background to make, um, to make it some actual decorations on the level. I always appreciate it when creators do something like that because it gives another sense of how the level looks. So, I can't really show you again, but it's back there. So now we get this coin. Now we get our key and go through the door. And we're out. Just like that. Awesome level.